This video illustrates how to use this form, ax plus by plus c equals zero, to find the slope of any straight line equation. There is a small formula for the slope, where the slope m is equal to negative a over b. But this only works if the equation is in this form. If it is not, we have to do algebra first to get it in this form before we define our a and our b. This form of the equation is often called general form, but I have seen source materials that refer to it as standard form, and there might be other names as well. So consult your local textbook or teacher to make sure that you're using the right terminology, and I will just refer to it as ax plus by plus c equals zero. In the first equation, it's already in the form ax plus by plus c equals zero, and we can see that our a is equal to two in this case. Our b is equal to three, and our c is equal to one. The c is not used in the formula, so negative a over b becomes negative two over three, which means that the slope of this straight line is negative two thirds. In the second equation, we have some minus signs, and the first term, the x, does not have a number with it. We have to realize that x means 1x, so a is equal to 1. b is equal to negative 5, and c is equal to negative 6. Negative a over b therefore becomes negative 1 over negative 5. We have to keep the sign with our numerical coefficient. The slope formula gives us negative 1 over negative 5. The two negative signs cancel, and therefore, 1 fifth is the slope for this straight line. In the third equation, both the a and the b are negative. So let's see how that works out. a equals negative 7, b equals negative 8, c equals 9. Negative a therefore becomes negative of negative 7. and the b is negative 8. In this case, we have, after applying our formula, three negative signs in our slope. Two of those negative signs will cancel, and it does not matter which two. If I cancel a negative on the top with the one on the bottom, I end up with negative 7 eighths. The third negative sign is left over and stays in the answer. The slope of this straight line is negative 7 eighths. In this fourth example, 5x equals 3y plus a half. We do not have the equation written in the ax plus by plus c equals zero form, so we have to do some algebra to get it in that form. I'll leave the 5x where it is. If I move 3y to the left of the equals, it becomes minus 3y. And if I move 1 half to the left of the equals, it becomes minus 1 half equals zero. My a is there for 5. My b is negative 3. Negative a over b becomes negative 5 over negative 3. The two negative signs cancel. And 5 thirds is the slope of this straight line. This next example is a horizontal line. It has y's in the equation but no x's. We can still use the ax plus by plus c equals 0 form to express the equation of this line. If I move the 4y to the left of the equals, I get 2y minus 4y equals negative 3. 2y minus 4y is equal to negative 2y. And if I move the negative 3 to the left of the equals, I have plus 3 equals 0. There is no x term, but I can rewrite this as 0x minus 2y plus 3 equals zero. And my a is equal to zero and my b is equal to negative two. The formula gives me negative zero over negative two, which simplifies to zero. The slope of this line is zero, which it has to be the slope of all horizontal lines is always zero. The final example has x's but no y's in the equation, so therefore it is a vertical line. 
If I move the x to the left of the equals, I have 3x minus x plus 7 equals 0. 3x minus x is 2x. There is no y term, so I can write plus 0y and then plus 7 equals 0. My a is 2 and my b is 0. I end up with negative 2 over 0 when I plug them into the formula. And of course, when I divide by 0, the answer is undefined. The slope for this straight line is undefined, as it has to be, because the slope of all vertical lines is always undefined. This is how you can use the ax plus by plus c equals 0 form to find the slope of any straight line equation.